Jephthah. Come on, amen. And God is using this, this man of God and his wife and his daughter and over there in South Africa with the church and with the training center. So it gives me a privilege, amen, to call up Pastor Sam Sanchez. Let's give him a round of applause. Big Outreach, San Diego. Give him a warm welcome. A welcome home. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can we lift our hands to the Lord? You can feel the presence. Somebody's going to get a breakthrough right now. Come on, all over this place. Just minister there on the instruments. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, if you can speak in that heavenly language. Come on, somebody, you're going to get a breakthrough tonight. Oh, you're going to get a breakthrough. There's power, there's power, there's power. Oh, there's power. Some of you came in with the struggle, but the struggle is going to go in the name of Jesus. Some of you young adults, you've been battling. You've been battling in the spirit, but today your day is now. You're going to raise up. That trial is not going to take you out. That setback is not going to stop you. You're getting stronger. Oh, some of you oldies, don't you dare give up now. We need you now more than ever. God isn't done with you. God is not done with you. Come on, just a few more moments in His presence. Power of God, show up. Power, power, power. Oh, come on, just say, I need some power. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, move. Move, encourage, lift. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Robosita Rabat. Jesus, we need you. You could feel power this evening. There's power this, this evening in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Will you take your neighbor's hand this, this evening? And we're just going to pray. We're going to turn this into a prayer meeting. And then I'll share a short word and we'll get back into prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We come before you this evening. And God, you know the needs of your people. You know the condition of our hearts. But God, more than anything, God, we're here not to see one another, God. It's not a social gathering, God, but this is a time where we can encounter your presence, God. Lord, this is a place where we're going to wrestle with God. And Father, you're going to break some of our hips, God. You're going to change some of our name, oh God. But that's why we're here. We're here, God, in this house, God, to get a hold of you so that you could restore shattered dreams, oh God, so you could restore broken lives, oh God, that one day, God, you could use the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And we ask you right now, God, we prophesy to our neighbor that they will be better in 2019, that they will rise from the ashes of defeat, God, that that setback, that disappointment, that mistake is not our fate, is not our destiny. Oh, hallelujah. We pray right now for power. Power, power, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, give the Lord a good hand of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, it's good to be here with family. Amen. First of all, I want to thank the Lord for his keeping power. Amen. I got saved right here in this church. Amen. And God touched me right upstairs. Amen. For those that don't know me, I've been here. For quite a long time amen since 1991 my mom came in through the women's home amen and there she is right there amen the home works praise the lord but i'm a product of god's anointed now generation amen hallelujah and also a product of the training center amen hallelujah so i want to thank my pastors amen for uh, having the faith to go to bridgeport connecticut amen and it was right there you know, Pastor, uh, as I was, you know, thinking about my life this year is I've been following in your footsteps, literally. <laughs> I've been able to go and to, to Bridgeport and separate my life and then also uh, be under your mentor, Pastor Joey Del Rio. And then from there, then I went to South Africa. Amen. And then uh, the Lord opened up a door for me to, uh, to direct a training center, Pastor. And so, man, as long as I can stay in step with you, I'm going to be all right. Amen. How many love your pastors? Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, it's so good to be here. Amen. And I just want to just say thank you for all of your prayers, your love. Amen. For all the likes and the, you know, little hearts on Instagram. Amen. I love it. It encourages me out in the mission field. Amen. I don't have a lot of family out there. Amen. But how many know that when 
Pastor Chris or somebody sends me a little message just encouraging me. Marky sends me a little joke to encourage me. Pastor Marky, amen, hallelujah, amen. And uh, it just brings joy to my heart, amen. And so, and then lastly, I just want to thank my family, amen, my wife and my daughter. And my daughter's in the nursery, amen. But I think Lolita's did a little damage on Sister Daniela, amen. So keep her in prayer, amen. We went right to the taco shop, from the plane to the taco shop, amen. But uh, so she'll be here Sunday, but we're excited to be here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, tonight I'm just going to jump right into it. And once again, I'm just excited to be here. I'll be here for about a month in, in the country, uh, ministering in different churches and stuff like that. But you can't forget about home. Amen. Uh, just renewing my visa. There's a process that you got to go to to be in the field. And we're just excited for that. Amen. So keep our visa in prayer amen but if you have your bibles we're going to look at chronicles first chronicles chapter 4 verses 9 and 10 two powerful verses and i just want to share a few things a few observations that will help us get a breakthrough in prayer hallelujah it says like this now jabez was more honorable than his brothers and his mother called his name jabez saying because i bore him in pain verse 10 and jabez called on the god of israel saying oh that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory that your hand will be with me and that you will keep me from evil that I may not cause pain so God granted him what he requested let us pray father we thank you we love you we ask you to be with us as we're here in this powerful prayer meeting we pray God that you encourage and enlighten God those that are discouraged and those that are on the mountaintop keep them there as long as you can Lord father we thank you in Jesus name we pray amen you can be seated today in the house of the Lord amen and right here we see a powerful prayer amen of a man by the name of Jabez and it's heavy because there's a bunch of names there's a genealogy but then you see that there in first Chronicles chapter 9 there's two verses that that pause the genealogy to talk about this man that was associated with pain and there's five things that I want to share with you in the brief time that I have before you but I believe it'll help you when uh, you're, you're getting a hold of God Num the first thing I want to share with you that we see in the text is that prayer is the key to get the attention of God see and I believe if we're gonna be a church of prayer is we can't be so caught up in all the attention of all the things that are around us but we need to be a people who know how to get the attention of God see so many times we wear that cute dress we wear those skinny jeans to get the attention of so and so come on somebody we get those yeezys come on somebody we get those nice new shoes we get that look you get your nails done amen but how many know is that sometimes those people don't give you the attention you want but how many know that when you know how to get on your knees and you talk to god amen is you'll get his attention you see, the Bible says in Psalms 34, 4, it says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. And today I want to encourage you. Listen, if you came in with fear on your heart, if you came in discouraged, if you came in just in a difficult season of your life, I want to encourage you today that in just a few moments, you can get the attention of God. You may not always get an appointment with the pastor. You may not get always get an appointment with that life group leader. You may not always be able to sing on the microphone. But one thing you can do when you come to the house of the Lord, there by your bedside, in your living room, at your job site, in your cubicle, is that if you know how to pray, you can get the attention of God. And we need a generation of people that know how to call down heaven and get the attention of God. It's not how many social media likes or followers you have, but we need a people that know how to pray, that know how to tap in with God's prayer, that know how to speak in tongues. Come on, somebody. It's not some weird thing, but it's the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, the evidence through speaking in tongues. See, we need some people that know how to get the attention of God. Second thing, if you're taking notes, moving quickly here, is prayer is the key to changing your current condition you see in the text in these two powerful verses you see that he went from painful to prosperous and i want to prophesy to some of you tonight and let you know that god wants to take you from being in pain to causing you to prosper some of you are in pain right now some of you, somebody's been talking about you 
so your doctor might have given you a negative report well I'm here to declare to you when you get the attention of God is that he's able to turn it all around I don't know if I'm talking to, to Victory Outreach San Diego this evening, but I'm here to let you know that if you can call on God, you might be in pain for a little while, but how many know prosperity is coming? And you know prosperity is not just finance. I know we're in run for hope mode and all the different teams, and that's great, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about having a peace and having God's presence in your life because the shoes will wear out. The makeup will, will fade away. Come on, somebody. The skinny jeans. Come on, somebody. Will go out of style. I'm waiting for them to bring those big baggy jeans back. Come on, those Janko jeans. And Ben Davis jeans. No, not the Ben Davis. <laughs> These millennials don't know nothing about Ben Davis jeans. Come on, somebody. See, but prayer is the key to changing your current condition. In the same chapter of Psalms, verse 19, it says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. And I can't sit here and I can't tell you, I don't understand the mind of God. I can't sit up here and tell you all that. All I know is that you will suffer affliction in the kingdom. Too many times people want to preach, man, if you give your life to Jesus, you're going to get a Rolls Royce and you're going to get a condo by the sea. Listen, you ain't going to get all that come on somebody I'm not that kind of prophet come on somebody I'm here to let you know sometimes you will get a flat tire sometimes things will go wrong sometimes your son or daughter will get worse come on somebody but it doesn't mean that God is not faithful because his word says that many are the afflictions of the righteous but God delivers him out of them all and there's deliverance in the house tonight maybe you're afflicted maybe in your spirit you don't even want to pray you were like, man, I didn't want to pray today. You're afflicted. I'm here to let you know that God is able to deliver you out of that affliction. It doesn't matter what it is. Right before I came out here, I preached at the youth service. Man, there was a deliverance right there. Man, this girl started manifesting. She started slithering like a snake. And I said, in the name of Jesus, come out. Come on, somebody. See, third world devils are just, they, they, they don't wear a mask. See, but, but, but the West Coast devils, come on, they're, they're, they're too cute over here. See, but, but I'm here to let you know that if you're afflicted, is that God is able to deliver you today. There's hope in the house. Could somebody say amen? The third thing about prayer, amen, is that prayer is, is, is the key to, keep, to keeping God on your journey. So many times we come to the Lord and God restores us and he blesses us. See, but we forget God on the journey. But I just want to remind you that prayer is the key uh, to keeping God on the journey. I love how Jabez says that I want your hand. I have a daughter, she's 10 years old, for those that don't know me, and her name is Sierra. And when she's afraid, she says, Daddy, give me your hand. And so many Christians, because we get a little mature, and we take a few Veti classes and we went to Bible school, is we begin to let go of God's hand. See, but prayer, we, we need to be a generation of people that say, man, I need God, God's hand with me in my business. I need God's hand with me in my marriage. I need God's hand with me in my college. I need God's hand with me wherever I go. See, I love the psalmist in Psalms 23, 4. It says, yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. See, David knew how to keep God on the journey. And I want to encourage you today, keep God on the journey. Don't you let go of God. You keep him with you. You hold him tight. You, you, you begin to wrestle to keep God in the room. Don't you dare chase God away. Don't you dare be a man or woman that begins after God done blessed you. After God done given you everything you want. That you begin to push God out. It's sad to see a people that, that when they came in with nothing but a bag. Come on somebody from Dollar General all of a sudden that God began to bless them and give them a wifey and God began to give them a little car and a little dog and a little bit of children all of a sudden they let go of God but we need a generation of people at Victory Outreach San Diego at 4235 National Avenue that say I'm not going to let go of God 
Number four is we see that prayer is the, is the key to living a life that pleases God. See, Jabez in his prayer, he says, God, keep me from evil and causing pain. And see, prayer is the key, man. I, I, I've been able to be in a country for three years in a different country. I've, I've seen missionaries come and missionaries go. And I believe that some of them began to let go of, of prayer and they began to rely on their experience. But I thank God and I could stand here, not in a, in a proud way, but in a humbled way that I've been able to stand strong. Not once have I taken some alcohol. Not once have I cheated on my wife. I've been faithful to God in those three years out in that field it's why because i've kept god on my side and i want to remind you church i want to encourage you to keep god on your side see live a life that pleases god see good preaching doesn't encourage me anymore it used to tickle me it used to get me but you know what encourages is more is a man or woman that pleases god some of the strongest christians are not the ones behind the pulpit but are the ones that can walk with god and we need a people we in this house specifically in this house because this house has a global vision is we need people that know how to please god can you please god at work can you please god on your taxes can you please god come on when nobody's looking on a friday night are you going to go to the club and try to repent on sunday no we need a generation that says i want to stop causing pain i need it i need you to keep my feet from evil See, and the last thing as they come to the, to the stage so we can get into some prayer is we see that prayer is the key to see our requests come to pass. The final thing we see is that God honored his prayer request. And today, I don't know your request today. I don't know what you're facing. But what I do know is that if you stay with it, if you don't give up, if you don't throw in the towel, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's going to happen tomorrow or it's going to happen next week. God's not a first and 15th God come on somebody but God's an on time God and God's faithful I remember being in this church as I was worshiping God I was taken back to times where I was stacking chairs times where I was decorating and hanging balloons for New Year never in a million years did I think that I would get in a plane to go to Cape Town South Africa one of the most dangerous parts of the world but I could only do it. Why? Because I said, God, I want to be used by you. God, I want to be your best. God, I don't want to bow out of the race. But I want to stay strong. So today you may have a request. Maybe there's something heavy on your heart. Maybe there's something that, that, that you, you, you've, been, you've, been, you, you've been holding on to and you feel like it's not going to come to pass. I want to encourage you. God is with you. I just came to stop by to encourage you. Listen, your dream will come to pass. If God can do it for a man whose name was pain, how much more can he not do it for you? Maybe your marriage is struggling. Maybe you're a young adult and you're getting tempted. Maybe you're a business owner. Maybe you're in the ministry and you're a leader. And listen, I want to encourage you, your dream will come to pass. Don't you dare give up. Jabez didn't give up. He had all right to give up. He was a man that was associated with pain. He was troubled to his mother. But God turned it all around. And tonight we're here not to make noise or to, to impress one another with eloquence. We're here to get a hold of God. And listen, my friends, is tonight we need God. I can't make it back in South Africa without God. Some of you, you can't make it in the environment you're in without God. We need a generation that says, I want God. We can't be a generation that just pursues blessings all the time what we need to pursue is the blesser and with that being said I'm gonna ask us to rise and we're gonna go back into prayer today and I'm just so privileged to be able to share just a few words with you and I want to encourage you tonight is maybe you're here and every head bowed and every eye closed if you find yourself in a low place in a place of pain I just want to say a simple prayer for you just by the lifting of your hand, nobody looking around. This is between you and the Lord. If you say, Sam, you know what? I came in with a painful situation. I need prayer today. I, 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 need, I need God's touch. I need his presence in my life. Maybe you've been slacking in your prayer life and it hasn't been what it should be. 
Then listen, I want you to lift your hand just so I could see you and join with you in prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. I see those hands. God bless you. I see those hands. Now I want you to do one more step. I want you to get out of the aisle. I want you to come to the front so we can pray for you as a church. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. This is your time. That's what a prayer meeting's all about. It's about coming together and lifting up the brethren and calling down heaven so that you can be refreshed in the Lord. Come on, come. Come, come. His presence is here. His presence is here. That's it. That's it. This is your day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's it, that's it, that's it. Come, come, come. Maybe some of our leadership can just begin to surround and begin to pray for those that are here that need a little encouragement, that need a little bit of a fresh touch. I'm going to pray for you. Father, I come before you now and I thank you for my brothers and sisters that find themselves in a low season. I pray that you build them up that you strengthen them, God, that you uplift their faith, that you let them know that you are with them, that you've chosen them, God. In the name of Jesus, God, in the name of Jesus, lift them up, strengthen them, strengthen Eric, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, touch my brother in the name of Jesus. That's it, that's it, he's, he's here, that's it, he's here. In the name of Jesus, he's with you. Don't you dare give up. That's it, sister Grace. That's it. That's it.